DV5 is going to have an updated interface. This is crazy. But before I show you the updated interface, let me show you something that you may find very interesting. So this is Bricks Builder. So the way the interface looks here is you have all your um, modules. I'm not sure what they call them, but yeah, these are modules on the, on the left. And then we have the layers over here on the right. Next, I also wanna show you how Elementor does things. Here we have all our elements. On the right, we have our layers, okay? But we don't have to necessarily have these. So you can actually get rid of that. And this now gives you more screen real estate. Now, let's take a look at DV5 and how they're going to update their interface. Okay, so look at this. Do you find any similarities between Bricks Builder and Elementor? Not that it's a bad thing, because really, if you take a look at, say, for example, mobile phones, you'll find that um, the interface of Android is pretty much similar to the interface of uh, iOS. Not very, very similar, but the idea is pretty much the same. So I think this is the route that... Um, DV5 is going to take because over here you can see we have all our layers similar to what we have with Bricks Builder and also Elementor. Over here on the right, this is where you have all your, um, your settings. You know, this is what we are accustomed to. But this now is going to be stuck to the left. But DV also has... Uh, docking panels, which means you can drag and drop all your panels in here, which just makes it easier for you to design and you can customize the interface however you want. So in my opinion, I think this is the ideal way or the best way of going about this because the old way of using DV is dated and it takes too much screen real estate. With this now, it's more like how all the other softwares like Photoshop or any of these softwares out there, the layout is pretty much the same. You have your main canvas area in the middle and then you have all your elements that you use to design on the sides. So I'm really excited about this. I, to be honest, did not think that this was going to come in DV5. I was expecting this to come in DV6 because uh, from uh, what Nick has been, Nick has been saying, uh, it's always been making it fast, building it from the ground up, APIs and so on. Not really the interface. So if they're going to start the interface change in DV5, this is going to be very exciting because it's going to give us a new way of designing. Now over here, as I look at this, it looks pretty complicated, you know, because now I have to go into each and every nitty gritty item here to customize it or to locate it. But I guess with time, when you get used to it, it's going to be easy. I mean, it's just like Photoshop. The first time you take a look at Photoshop, it looks very overwhelming. But with time, it's, you know, you get used to it because now you'll find where things are. Which brings me to the next point. I was in the process of actually creating a brand new course for Divi. But now after seeing this, I know that there's going to be a new interface. So is there really a reason for me to uh, create a brand new Divi course based on Divi 4 at the moment? Or should I just wait for Divi 5? And in the meantime, I can be doing other type of uh, courses and tutorials. Let me know what you think in the comments box below. All right, so moving on with this. So as you can see, there's a lot of work being done behind the scenes by the team at Elegant Themes, which means that they're not messing around. But now don't say I didn't tell you so. I think this is not from the company. And I know I've mentioned this before. I think the price is definitely going to change from lifetime membership to yearly subscription. The reason being it's a business and I don't see them sustaining so much support when uh, almost a million, I mean, a million uh, customers right now have purchased Divi to continue maintaining that over the years. I mean... I don't know, I may be wrong, but just to be on the safe side, I would say go ahead and uh, purchase your lifetime license. In fact, let's go ahead and take a look at their pricing at the moment. It did change, uh, but we still have the lifetime uh, license. So if we take a look here, you can see that we have our yearly pricing, which is 89 per year. Nothing has changed there, 287 per year. But if you come over here to the lifetime, now we have 249 and 365. So I would say lock in to the lifetime um, membership and pretty much all these future updates 
you'll get them you know for free moving forward and the good news the good news is if you purchase Divi using my affiliate link I will give you access to Divi University Divi University is going to be where we're going to have all our DV courses and anything related to DV. This includes child themes, uh, snippets, or anything that you may need to use to enhance your DV experience and learning experience too. All right, guys, what do you think about this new interface? Do you like it? Do you think it's fantastic? Do you think this is the uh, way to go? Please leave your comments in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.